Hello my creative earthlings, it's Mika and this is a video I have been asked a few times to film and it's how I get my ombre and how I get my hair blue. So I redid my hair a few days ago and I thought I'd film it. So this is how I retouch my ombre. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna film a video like this because I'm not a professional hairdresser and I don't know everything there is to know about hair. But I thought I'd share all the information I've gathered with you. I've asked friends, I've searched online and I had a few failed attempts. Please be cautious when you're dealing with bleach because bleaching hair is a serious business and if you've never tried it before, it's better to go to a professional and get it done the right way so you'll avoid all the drama. And it's never a good idea to go from very very dark to very very light in one go. You might as well get a pixie cut right now. And this is why I have like a two-toned ombre, because I prefer to have some of the parts of it like a darker blue or green rather than have super damaged hair. So with that being said, let's get on with the video and if you see that I've forgotten to mention anything, please leave it in a comment down below. You're going to need strips of aluminium foil that you're gonna cut beforehand in wide strips like so. Uh, the length should be as long as the part of your hair you wish to dye. And your bleach and your developer, gloves, some kind of moisturizer, I'm using sunscreen, and I'll tell you why in a bit. You're going to start by creating sections of hair, and I always start from the bottom up because that's more convenient, and also make sure it's tangled free. Nothing left to do now but to apply the bleach and as I said, this is me retouching my ombre so I'm not gonna go over the parts that are already blue because that means they are as blonde as they need to be. So you're gonna take your aluminium foil and place it underneath a section of the hair. And your main focus here is to make it gradient. like. Um, they, you want to make the colors look like they're blending with each other. I found it was easier for me to do that by having the section of hair lay flat on the aluminium foil and doing thin strokes with the brush vertically. In order to make sure the bleach is applied on the back of the section, I'm flipping it over. And I probably didn't need to do that uh, if I was picking more smaller sections, but as I said, I'm not a professional, so I'm not doing everything by the book, and it's harder when you're doing it on yourself. So that seemed like uh, the most, you know, the easiest thing for me to do. Next time I might try another technique, but this is what I'm going with for the moment. This is the first time this part of my hair is being treated with bleach, so I'm not expecting a super white blonde, more like an orange color, which is okay for what I'm trying to do here. You probably can't see it because I didn't do such a good job filming this tutorial, but there is a green area from the previous time, and that's actually my safe area to do the blending. Now take another strip of foil and cover the section of hair you just finished dyeing and keep repeating the same steps until your whole head is done. And you probably look like a crazy person from the future, so I guess that means I'm doing it right, right? Now for the most important part, some sections have been sitting dipped in bleach for a long time, so don't forget, keep checking. Maybe by the time you're finished with the last section, the first one you did is ready to be rinsed off. Oh, and another tip I wanted to share with you that I do all the time is instead of a towel, I'm using a t-shirt. That's because it's a bit more gentle and it helps with the freezing. So this is as far as I'm willing to bleach it for now. As I said, I wasn't expecting to get white hair right away, but I don't care because this ugliness is going to get covered up with blue. And I'm using the shade Midnight Blue by the brand Directions, and you can find the link to where I got it from in the description. And I'm mixing it with conditioner because I want a brighter shade of blue, even though parts of it will turn out to be green. Now, hair dyeing is messy. You can be the most careful person in the world and still, when you're done, everything around you will be blue. 
to protect your skin from the stains applied on type of cream. I'm using sunscreen because that's the first thing I saw this morning. But any moisturizer, any butter butter will do. You'll see, it'd be very easy to get it off later. For this step, you don't need any aluminium foil to keep the sections separated. The blue dye will only grasp upon the lighter hair. Even if you get it on the darker hair, it won't make any difference. The instructions here are pretty straightforward. Make sure you cover your hair well, use a brush or your hands, it's fine. And lastly, put your hair up in a bun and wrap it with some plastic wrap or a bag to keep it warm. I let it sit for 40 minutes, but I believe half an hour was plenty enough time. And this is my final result. As you can see, it's not a uniform color. There's a lot of green in it and on some areas I messed it up with the blending, so the gradient effect did not turn out perfect, but I like it. And as long as I can keep it healthy, I am more than fine with it. So thank you so much guys for watching, I hope some of you found it helpful, if you did give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out when you do that, or maybe share it with a friend, or pin it. If you want to connect with me on social media, you can find me at Mika Sailor on Instagram and Twitter, or at Mika Sun Sailor on Facebook and Pinterest. So thank you all so much for watching once again, and I'll see you very very soon, bye!